everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. This weekend, there's a new product on the shelves at Walmart. It's the Monster Box of Heritage. Let's find out if it's any good. All right, everybody, we're back from Walmart. It's time to check out these Monster Boxes. We covered Heritage. It's been out for a couple weeks now. We did the retail review with the blaster boxes and fat packs. I also saw some hanger boxes at Walmart, but I just decided to pass on those. But these Monster Boxes, they're very intriguing. They're $55 a box, and you might think, well, at $55 a box, they're probably going to give you some good stuff in there at least, right? Well, I, I kind of dove into the, the odds a little bit, and I don't think so. I, I think that this might be a hard pass for me. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's in this product, because you're likely going to see it on the shelves at Walmart, and you might think, all right, I think I'll just go for that and uh, maybe find something good. So if you remember, when we did the regular blaster boxes, which looked like these, these are $25 a piece. We actually did pretty good. We found a, a two or three relics out of 10 boxes. And we're gonna see what we can find in here. So at $55, same design, same set, 500 cards in the set. The last 100 cards are gonna be short prints. There's 15 packs per monster box. And the one difference between this and the other options out there for Heritage is that you get those three exclusive chrome blue sparkle cards inside. Here's all the odds. You can pause that right there. You will see that the finding an autograph in this is one in 223 packs. Finding a relic in this is one in every 69 packs. And you're paying for 138 cards, 55 bucks. You're paying 39.8 cents a card. When you compare that to the blaster box, the odds are actually a little bit better in the blaster box. Relics just a little bit better. Autos a bit better. And you're paying less per card. 72 cards at $25. You're paying 34.7. So I don't really see the uh, the rationale for the price point here. I think these boxes should be about 30, 39.99, I guess. Would be a nice price for him. But let's go ahead and open them up and see if we can find anything good in here. We're going to start off with Michael King. He's got the first monster box. Let's see if we can pull something monster out of here. We'll show you those blue sparkle cards. Then we'll talk about them and decide if that alone makes this worth it. So inside you'll see the packs. And uh, there's 15 total packs there for $55. Basically, I don't know. I think maybe it might be better to just go and buy a hobby box. Your odds of finding a relic in a hobby box are about 1 in 24. Um, maybe even just a... Because you're going to get one relic or autograph per hobby box. So I don't really understand why Tops even really puts these out. We'll see if people grab these or not off the shelves. But I figure with something new out there... We might as well give it a go and see what we can find. Also, we'll be live in just a little bit. I'm going to get ready to start a live auction. It's a consignment. If you'd like to join us for that tonight, get that going around 9 o'clock or so. All right, so inside, let's see what we've got. There's, as always with Heritage, a bunch of base paper cards, which you'll see right there. And here comes the main draw of this product. It's the only place you can get the blue sparkles. There's three of them. You'll see one right here. It's going to be Cedric Mullins. You might think, what's that worth? Cedric Mullins Blue Sparkle Parallel. I would bet you this card sells for maybe $3 on eBay. In fact, I did a little research. You can see they're not numbered. The most expensive card that is sold amongst the Blue Sparkles. You might think it's Adley Rushman. Somebody actually paid about 70 bucks for a Shohei Otani like this. And that was the only such uh, purchase like that. The Adley Rushman, who's the number one rookie in this set, you can just go and buy that card for about an average price of $25. I've seen them sell for between $15 and $40. So I don't know. If, I feel like maybe that might be a better option if you really like the sparkles and you want to go after the big card, Natalie Rushman, instead of paying $55 for a monster, you might be better off just going and grabbing that Adley Rushman off of eBay for $30, $35 bucks or so. No really uh anything crazy yet here's uh the batting leader right now in all of baseball i think 392 luis arise is killing it and you know it's gonna get kind of interesting as the season wears on if he can stay flirting with 400 that will be really something to pay attention to the last time anyone got close to hitting 400 in a season was probably tony gwynn in 1994 he finished a little bit short of that but not really his fault. The strike wiped him out and didn't give him a chance 
but before that, I'm trying to think, geez, probably George Brett in 1980 was the next closest one when he hit, what did he hit in 1980, folks? Was it 390 or something like that? Which is insane. All right, here's the next stack from Michael King. Let's see what we can find for him. So far, not anything flipped over, so no image variations or parallels of any sort yet, which kind of really stinks. And we've got a little stamp card right there. You can go ahead and cut these out. Or actually, I think they looks like looks like they're actually stickers. That's different and kind of cool. As a kid, those would go right on my binders. I don't know. Maybe you did the same things, but when... When you bought a pack of Fleer, there's the Adley Rushman. We're hoping we can find that one in the Blue Sparkle. There's Showtime. It'd be nice to find the Blue Sparkle of him as well. But those 91 Fleer stickers, they went right on my binders. Like the outsides, the insides. I should try to find one of my binders at my parents' house just to show you guys. There's Leo Piguero, Blue Sparkle for Michael. Michael liked that one since he's a Pirates fan. See if Piguero can get back to the big leagues anytime soon. He played one game in the big leagues. And look at this! Holy cow! Do we have a big hit right here? It is a 74 posted stamp of Hank Aaron. The odds of finding one of these. I didn't even bother listing it on the packs. This is one in like 10,000, 20,000 packs, something like that. It's thousands and thousands of packs to find one of these. A Hank Aaron postage stamp and it's numbered to 50 how about that so let's go ahead and michael that is a huge hit right there this is an actual stamp from 1974 which is pretty freaking awesome the uh, 1974 top set was all about hank aaron as he had just broken babe ruth's record he's got the first six cards of the set and uh to get a hank aaron 74 posted stamp is pretty special right there look at that that is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and finish off the rest of your box quickly so we can take a look at the odds. I'm telling you, it's like one in 60,000 packs, I think. A postage stamp. Let's take a look at the odds right here. So if we go to the end, Hidden Gems, one in 48,000 cut signatures. Stamp Relic, one in 60,000 packs. You can see it says 1974. Topps Baseball. I don't know if that's a U.S. posted stamp relic. I guess it is. Or is it a Topps Baseball stamp relic? I'm, I'm guessing that's that. It's 1 in 12,000 packs right there. That is, uh, man, I was ready for this video. Just, I was about ready to kind of complain about this. As you see, all my Mystery Box Monday stuff piled up there. I got to go ahead and make a kitchen sink there for all that. That's what happens with these kitchen sinks. I get all these cards that I open up, and then they all kind of pile up around the table then every couple weeks we auction them all off in one big lot michael king man big hit right there hank aaron one in twelve thousand packs that's a big hit so nathan you're up next i still i don't know man one in twelve thousand packs i don't know if i'd go out and run and grab these still even after that because that is a tough pull right there let's see how nathan Reback does he's got two boxes I was all ready to tell you guys to avoid this product. And then we get a, a pretty nice hit right there. Very, very nice. Off the shelves of Walmart. All right, so here's this next one. By the way, big release is coming up this week. Well, the big release is going to be 2023 Top Series 2. The folks that pre-ordered it have already received some of their Series 2. I unfortunately didn't pre-order mine, so I'll have... I'm hoping to get mine on, maybe on Tuesday, and I'll bring you a new release preview video on Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Mystery Box Monday, as always. And then uh, let's check these out. So, Nathan, you will see your blue sparkle coming down the pike here in just a moment or two. Let's get through the base cards. That's one thing that uh, about Heritage. If you love base cards, this is a, a pretty good set for you. Lots of, you know base cards to put sets together with if that's your thing if you like autographs probably not the best option as typically what we see is there's more relics than way way more relics on average than autos we've got luis robert that's the blue sparkle for nathan i'd probably put a value on that one of maybe around tops maybe ten dollars 
tough to tell, but uh, based off of other things that we've seen sell, I think that's a good estimation. There's a rookie star short print card in there, Luis Arise. Can you find a postage stamp too? Nathan, we'll see. That'd be nice. I think last year we pulled a like a Johnny Bench coin, like a nickel or something from 1973. As they, uh, you know, this year they're celebrating the 74 release. And I can't believe we found a stamp in there. It even says on the box, look for 74 Tops baseball stamps, including exclusive limited blue parallels. Very, very nice. All right, so Nathan, here's your first, or the end of your first box. And there's your other two blues. You would think that for $55, they could just go ahead and guarantee that you get a relic. I mean, they can do that. Here comes our first chrome numbered card of the video. It's Garrett Mitchell. It's numbered to $9.99. But if they can do that for Topps Holiday and charge $25 a box, why can't they toss a relic in these? Somebody in the live chat yesterday, it may have been Ghostface, said that they found out that they can make 7,000 relics from one single game used bat. So... I think that would be a nice selling point in the future, Tops, if you'd like to continue to charge $55 for these. I, I, I think that's for what, what you give us right here. I think that's too high by $15 to $20. But in the future, if you could go ahead and maybe spice it up a little bit, toss in a guaranteed relic in each one of these monster boxes, it might be worth it to a lot of people. There is a Euron Diaz as well the odds as they stand right now not that great so here's the final box for nathan you can see they're advertising that 74 baseball stamp on there which we somehow found one and let's check out this final box and see what we've got going on then i'll go upstairs and see what we've got in the consignment auction that was sent to us we're auctioning those cards off tonight we'll probably have about a two-hour auction and then i will go ahead and get to work on finishing up the Team Break Tuesday stuff. By the way, if you'd like to get in on Team Break Tuesday, just put it for sale a few hours ago, and there's like 15 rounds. We're giving away a Julio Rodriguez Rookie Auto from 2022 Top Series 2. It is the 1987 design. It's a gorgeous card, so if you want a chance at that, anyone, in the, anyone that buys a spot in the break, every team that you have is a spot in the randomizer. We'll give uh, that away via the Random.org randomizer at the end of the night. Should be a good one on Tuesday. And let's see if we can find a good box here for Nathan. In our second video of the day, if you missed our first one, Family Dollars got baseball card packs back again. And uh, we actually found some autographs in them. So you can check that out. Those packs are only $1.25 a piece. And let's see what we've got. We've got Luis Ariz, black, chrome, number to just 74. That is a nice one right there. So, Nathan, Luis Ariz, and you've got Spencer Torkelson as your blue sparkle. Not too bad. Let's see what else we can find. The blue sparkles, they are nice. Don't get me wrong. They are very, very nice. And the, the only way you can get them is through these mega boxes. But it's probably definitely more cost effective if you're just like a certain you know certain player collector to just go and buy the single than shelling out $55 a pop for these and chasing after a certain card. There is Juan Moncada, Blue Sparkle as well. All right, Nathan, you got one final stack left. Let's see what we can do for you to finish off this one. Also coming this week. So we've got those new release preview videos. We've got Mystery Box Monday tomorrow. Maybe Tuesday I'll do the Top Series 2 preview videos. I think I'm going to be able to pick up some cases on Tuesday from my one of my case guys that he might have some early. So we'll do those. Maybe a hobby video. Maybe a jumbo video on Tuesday. And then I also got the boom boxes. $500 worth of boom boxes also. We've got Throwback Thursday as always. Look, they're probably doing a... What we got here? 1998 Bowman Chrome box might be a fun one to do. Also, in the mixers on or this coming Tuesday, we've got 2018 update back for one final time. And uh, I only got one round of those. I'll have to buy some more boxes. People love those rounds, going after all those Otanis. But new this week, we've got 2019 update. 
and go after the Tatis rookies and Pete Alonso rookies. He just did his 21st home run leading the big leagues. Also, Eloy Jimenez is in there. Vladdy Jr. rookies in there as well. So 2019 is a very nice set, and it's a bit cheaper than the 2018 counterpart there. Here's the next and final sparkle of the video. It's going to be an Aloy Jimenez right there for Nathan. So hopefully you like your White Sox, Nathan, because you got three White Sox sparkles, all the three of their stars, Jimenez, Moncada, and Luis Robert in your two boxes. As we wrap this one up here on this Sunday evening, Eugenio hey, Suarez's last one. So a big posted stamp relic. Wasn't expecting that. That's pretty exciting. And that's all we have for you for tonight. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the auction. I hope you can join us for that auction. And if not, then I'll see you tomorrow in Mystery Box Monday. Good night, everybody.